again, this is Boogie Cindy, bass player of the Boogie Wonder Band. I had so much fun in the first series of Behind the Groove that I wanted to dig more disco and funk classics and explore those timeless songs and artists from this unforgettable era. And I'm doing it through their bass lines. Today's song is Kate by Shotgun from the album Shotgun 3. Shotgun was a band from Detroit area. They released six albums between 77 and 1982. They toured intensively with bands like Rick James. A few years ago, a fellow bass player introduced me to this funk anthem. This monster bass groove was crafted by Larry Austin. Him and his fellow band members, Ernest Latimore on guitar, Robert Resch on drums, Billy Talbert on keyboards, Greg Graham on saxophone, and William Gentry on trumpet, wrote and produced Kate. Their second album was arranged by the great Claire Fisher. He started out in a jazz world doing arrangements for people like Dizzy Gillespie, moved on to funk music with Prince and Rufus, his son is actually the drummer in Rufus, Mr. Andre Fisher. And still today we can hear his work in D'Angelo's Black Messiah. Fun fact, their biggest hit, Don't You Want to Make Love, was covered by the great Carl Carlton. Super fun fact. What is even cooler about this band is before being called Shotgun, they were under the wing of this young prodigy musician named Dale Warren. He made his mark while scoring album for Stax record, like Hot Butter Soul from Isaac Hayes. Super fun fact part two. So Mr. Dale Warren convinced the musician to adopt the name 24 Karat Black. They embark on the recording of this concept album about the life in the inner cities. Ghetto, misfortunes, wealth. The record, totally forgotten, got no recognition at all. Until many years later, it became this cult album amongst hip-hop artists. And to this day, it's the album with the most sample pulled off than any other records in history. 40 years later, with internet and YouTube, people are rediscovering the music of Shotgun. And I think we should give them so much love because they deserve it. And who doesn't love a song about roller skating? 